Hey folks, uh, it's been a while, been quite a, a long time, but I would like to get back into doing some tutorials and some some animations. So let's just get right into it. Uh, the big news right now in the Blender world is the release of 2.78, and I'm going to show you some cool stuff with the uh, the new bendy bones that they have. So um, we've always had um, kind of these things called B bones. If you go into Armature tab and turn on B bone and tab into edit mode. You could you could take a bone here and you could uh, go into your bone tab and you could give it segments. So we could, for example, give this eight segments. And then when we would, to rotate this, uh, rotate the bone above it, for example, if we create a little tip here and then go into our pose mode. Uh, now, when you rotate this little bone to the tip, you'll see that the, uh, the bendy bone the segments will rotate in a way, manner that you would expect from, for example, like a tail or a, uh, a neck or something like that. And what's nice with the, the, the new system is that you've also got this kind of twist. So as you can see here, you can, um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and uh, start rotating this little tip and then the, the segments under it will, uh, will twist, but they'll do it kind of with a fall off that you don't have to do any rigging to do. Usually before you had to do some kind of fairly complex rigging to get that done. So let's take this concept here and use it for uh, rigging this dragon uh, dragon neck here. So let's go ahead and create the armature, which is quite large here. So let's go ahead and edit it, bring it down. Okay, so the first thing we need to be able to see it through the neck here. So let's turn on X-ray, do that. Okay, make sure we're kind of in the middle here so that when we place the bones, we'll be right in the center of the mesh, all right? So now I, I want to take, I'm going to have uh, about three bendy bones control this whole neck, and then we'll have bones for the head and the horns and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and, and duplicate this and kind of drag it out. So about a third of the way through, and then for each bendy bone, I want like this little tip here, so I'm going to uh, create just a little small bone here to act as kind of like the controller for the, the bending of this. All right, so this will be the next part of the neck, and then that little control guy. And then this will be the last part of the neck, and that little tip. And now we can draw up the, the head. And then um, let's duplicate this and create a jaw. And then let's uh, duplicate that and create uh, one for the horn. And kind of move this into place and duplicate it and mirror it to get the other horn. Okay, <clears throat> good, good, good. All right, so now um, I'm gonna start uh, naming things. I'm gonna turn off deform on this one. I just want this to be in place here. And then this will be a uh, neck one. And I'll call this tip, tip one. And then neck two, Tip two, and so forth. So we just name everything. <clears throat> Sorry. Neck three. Head. Jaw. This is the left side, so this will be horn dot L. And this will be Okay, and uh, before we get going further, these duplicated bones share the parent of the one they were duplicated from, so they're not parented to the head, they're parented to the tip here. So let's select these guys and reparent them and say keep offset. Good, now we have this set up. I'm gonna turn this into uh, B bones. All right, so um, if you find that the um, display of the B bones is either too thick or too uh, small, you can change that by uh, hitting uh, Control Alt S, and then you can just move your mouse around. All right, and you can do this for individual bones as well. In this case, I want to be able to see these tip bones pretty well here. Uh, differentiate them from the uh, the rest of the neck. So I'm gonna select these. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna select these and do an Alt S on these, so they're easier to to differentiate. 
the size doesn't really have anything to do with the deformation. It's just there to so you can you know see the, a, a difference between the bones. Now let's go ahead and add the segments. I'll give this one about eight. This was a little, a little bit shorter, so I'll give this one about seven, and this one I'll give like six. Okay. Um, one thing I found too is when you first get into this, let's go and tab into pose mode here. Yep. I don't know why there's still, I think, a bug here because as you can see, this first one is kind of all rolled up. So if you go under, um, let's see, it is under, uh, here it should be, the roll is still set to zero here. So is it this one, huh? Maybe it needs to be set to 180. Okay. So as you can see, sometimes you'll have to adjust the roll of this very first bone. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, this, this first bone is kind of wigged out when it first uh, gets drawn here. So now we've got the armature uh, the way we, we like it. So let's go ahead and select the mesh, and then shift select the armature. Control P and say automatic weights. Okay, so now we can start, oops. We can start posing this. So let's go ahead and, as you can see here, we can pose this and it looks pretty nice. It looks like some uh, part of the mesh got left behind, but we're not really concerned about that. So as you can see already, we're getting a really nice kind of uh, deformation here. And we didn't have to do any rigging. We can get this twist to his neck. And as you can see that from the, uh, obviously you'll have to go ahead and, and play with the, the weighting and stuff, but as you can see, you can, you can get this nice neck twist, which you used to have to, you know, do a lot of complex rigging and stuff to do. So now it's pretty much automated. <clears throat> so let's uh, select all the bones and zero out the rotations and stuff. <clears throat> so I'll show you one more layer of control we can add. Let's go into the uh, edit mode here. And uh, I'm going to go and select this bone here and duplicate it. And I'm going to parent it to this main bone here. Keep the offset. All right, now this is going to be, uh, let's see, IK1. This is going to be an IK controller. And because of that, I'm going to turn the deform off. I'm going to kind of stretch it out there a little bit. And let's change this to be a little bit different size here. And we'll do um, duplicate this, do one for each of these uh, tips that we're going to control. Okay. So I like to be able to control the neck with these like little IK controllers here. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and, and go back to pose mode. And then we can shift select this and then shift select the, uh, uh, the neck bone that we want and hit shift I to give it IK. And select that bone that's being controlled, the one that's in yellow. Get a chain length of one. All right. And then we'll do the same for these. Chain length of one. And then this guy here, chain length of one. Okay, so now we've got these little guys here. We can start moving things around. And we can, what I like about this is you can get this kind of like, um, this kind of movement here. We can kind of like move the, uh, the head off to the, the neck, part of the neck off to the side here and stuff. So, but um, now we kind of, we can still control the twisting with this, but. It's two separate controls, so let's go ahead and uh, let's select this little guy here. And in the end, I want to just use these IK controllers to control everything. But let's select this little guy here. Oh, you know, we gave names already. And we're in the Bone Constraint tab, which is great. And we'll just say, copy the rotation, and we'll use the armature, and we'll use, the, it's the IK1. All right, so now when we rotate this IK1, that little tip controller thing, goes along with it, rotates along with it. So we'll just do the same for the others. Uh, we'll copy the rotation. IK, that one, and finally this guy here. Copy the rotation, and that last IK thing. So now uh, we only really need to see these, uh, these guys here. So I'm gonna put everything else, go to the bone tab and put these guys on a different bone layer and because they're just muddling up the display. Because that's really all we need to control this stuff with. It's just this. And we can hide, for example, stuff like the horns. You don't need to see those. 
So now we have just these, these three little controls here do all this stuff. They can uh, twist and bend and move and do all this kind of, look at this neat kind of uh, motion you can get here. Oh man, there's there's so much cool stuff that you can do with uh, these this, these new tools. Now obviously the, the deformations are kind of messed up because we haven't gone in and weight, you know, done nice weight painting and stuff, but we've already got this nice sinuous, dragony, uh, serpent kind of neck effect going on here. And we haven't done any real rigging. All we've done is the the only constraints we use is IK and, and rotation constraint. And we've already got all of this motion and uh, we can also rotate the whole thing around here. So that is the new system. And I, for one, am really jazzed up to start animating some some creatures and stuff because as you can see, you can do some really nice kind of uh, effects with tentacles and tails and necks and all sorts of cool things. So uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys uh, come up with with your rigging. Uh, okay, uh, see you later.